Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, hello, welcome. I am Princess K Day by Day. If you're not about a good evening, hey, thank y'all so much for stopping by to see what it is that I'm up to. I hope you guys are ready. I am about to do some deep cleaning in this kitchen. Um, one of the main things on my task is that I want to clean this oven, I just saw it's filthy and I need to get it done. And then fall decor. I'm so excited, so, so excited. I thought I would kind of dress like for the fall a little bit. My husband says that I look like um, I'm about to do a home improvement video, which sure, you can consider it a home improvement video. But yeah, let me stop rambling. If you guys want to see what I get done and hopefully you'll get some motivation, then just continue to watch. Okay, so I just wanted to show y'all, like I already sprayed it down with the Easy Off and it says like to let it sit for an hour and 15 minutes. I think it's been sitting for about two, yeah, for about two hours. So now I'm gonna get in here and get it done. So this was the purpose. This was the purpose of this whole video is because I needed to get this oven clean and I'm so, so glad that I did. I only did the top portion. I don't know why I didn't do the bottom portion. I should have, even though we don't use it very often, but I still should have got it done. So yeah, I just sprayed this with some easy off and it was so easy. Like it says leave it on for an hour, but you can see just how easy everything just wipes off and it is so clean. My absolute favorite thing. I probably will be doing this a whole lot more than what I've been doing so far. So for those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Princess K Day by Day. I am a wife and a mother of three. We live in Texas and the type of content that you'll find on my channel is motivational cleaning, a lot, a lot of home projects because I like to do home projects, um, DIY projects, um, home decor, um, lifestyle, there's just so much that we do here. So if this sounds like the type of content that you're interested in, then please consider subscribing. I would greatly appreciate it and would love to talk to you all in the comment section below. So in these next couple of clips, I'm going to be cleaning off the actual appliances, like getting in there, getting inside those cracks and crevices and just really getting out any dirt, dust or debris that's on the stove. And then I'm going to move over to the fridge. Right now I'm using on the fridge the Perfect Steel um, to clean it. I don't like this product. I cannot find anything that I feel that actually gets it clean. It, don't get me wrong, it cleans it, but the one thing that the product does is it leaves like the streaky motions of how you clean the fridge. So if you went sideways, up or down, whatever the case may be, it's gonna be on there and I hate that and I can't get it off. I've tried so many other products and I just don't know. So if you know a really good product to clean your stainless steel appliances, please let me know in the comment section below. 
these next couple of clips I'm just going to move along and clean out the refrigerator this was a true experience um, the last time I cleaned out the refrigerator I pulled it all the way out so this way I could open the door to pull out the drawers so that way I can clean out the drawers because there were spills but for whatever reason the last time I did it it got stuck and now it's stuck in this spot and I cannot move it so I went and got my husband and I thought maybe he could help me get it taken care of um, his conclusion was no the fridge is stuck it's not going to move the best option that you have is to take off the door and that's exactly what he did he took off the door so that way I could clean out the fridge uh, pull out the drawers and actually get those clean there were some spills at the bottom of the fridge and inside the drawers that I just wanted to get cleaned and he took off the door so that way I could get it clean I would have never thought of that but I guess you know that's what husbands do they think outside the box so I'm just going to be cleaning out the fridge and then we're going to start cleaning um, the products that were put back inside of the fridge. All of our food products, storage containers and all of that good jazz. Okay, so the door is back on and now I'm just going to clean the inside of the door. So I'm so, so sorry about the lighting in the next couple of clips. This side of our kitchen has a huge window, a door that's a window, and then another window right next to it. And it's from the courtyard. It lets in so much light. So I do apologize about that. That's why it looks a little dingy. This is as good as I could get it. Previously, it was much, much darker. So I'm just gonna go in and re-put in all of our food. I don't know if anybody else does this. I try to separate the tiers within the refrigerator by certain things like leftovers, fruits, vegetables, sandwich stacks, things that we reach for the most. That's how I, you know, organize our refrigerator. How do you organize your refrigerator? Let me know, do you do it by tiers or is it just every food product for itself? <laughs> I am such a slow cleaner like when I start cleaning like it generally takes me like this took me like five hours to get taken care of because I'm so slow when I start cleaning I cannot help it um, but I just wanted to make sure that I got everything cleaned but then I was like you know what I want to start decorating so that's what we're gonna start doing I'm gonna put a couple things uh, back and then take a couple things away so look you see some of the designs um, a lot of this stuff was picked up from Hobby Lobby many many moons ago some very recent and I love them all I decided that I wanted to add just a little bit more fall decor in the house because I love it it's pretty it brings me joy it makes me happy the colors the vibrancy all of that I love everything about fall the weather um, I love the sweaters boots everything I just love love fall and I'm pretty sure you love it as well if not more than what I do now some of this stuff will look the exact same at the end of the video some will not I will move things around because it's just me now you can see in that last clip you saw like the majority of the the light that's coming in it's coming from that big window the door and then there's another window but yeah I wanted to clean but I also wanted to decorate as well and I knew this would be an all-day thing if I didn't just put in my decorations as I went so that's basically what I'm gonna be doing moving things around putting the decor up and I really really love the way that it turned out I hope you guys do too Okay, so now I'm going to move to the opposite side of our kitchen. My brother-in-law came over about a week prior and he likes to bake. He made cakes. He made two, a chocolate cake and a lemon cake. And that chocolate cake went fast. 
um, but there was still lemon cake so I wanted to use that as part of my decorations for the fall because it just looks so good. Um, do you all do that? Do you have like pastries just sitting out? tempting you all day. I know it's so hard, but it's so pretty. Okay, so I'm just gonna round out this video by getting to these floors. Basically, you know, pulling up those rugs, um, replacing them with a fall one, which I absolutely love. Um, sweeping up all of the dust and crumbs and things like that that we got off the counters and that we got off the tables. I am going to take out the trash. I'm not going to mop in this one um, because mopping in the middle of the day is a waste of time to me. I don't know if I'm the only one who feels that way, but I think it is. Put the bar stools back and then do an overview of the kitchen. Okay guys, so that completes today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did, it was a lot of fun. I am hot and sweaty. I love the way the decor came out. It just makes me so, so happy. Like it's not even funny. And yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, then give it a big thumbs up. Um, like it, comment, subscribe. I think the thumbs up and the like it are the same thing, but you can do both. I'd appreciate it. Um, share with someone you think may enjoy this type of content. And until next week's video, bye guys.